You were always told to eat your vegetables, but now there's evidence that the unlikely beet may be the next superfood for Olympic athletes. In a recent study, participants ran once with and once without having consumed beetroot prior to their run. The results? Without the beetroot, they ran an average of 11.9 kilometers an hour. But after having consumed the beetroot, they ran an average of 12.3 kilometers an hour. How can eating such a small vegetable garner such a significant effect? Scientists believe the answer lies within the concentration of a molecule called nitrate. Nitrates can be found in the air, soil, and water, and are an essential component for plant growth. They're also used as food preservatives in things like processed meats, which have been linked to serious conditions such as diabetes and cancer. Beetroot contains large amounts of these nitrates. But didn't we just explain that nitrates can be bad? Turns out, when nitrates are consumed in the form of vegetables, there are some great health benefits. Specifically for athletes, if taken an hour before racing, it improves endurance by inducing vascular widening. This means the blood vessels increase in size, allowing better blood flow and as a result, increase oxygen levels traveling to the muscles. On top of this, muscles begin to use oxygen more efficiently than normal, meaning they require less oxygen altogether. This combination leads to the increased endurance, and with many athletes beginning to take advantage of beetroot, the 2012 Olympics have been dubbed by some as the Beetroot Olympics. As for the bad effects of nitrate, scientists think that the extra nutrients in vegetables such as antioxidants, fiber, and phytochemicals help to counteract the negative effects of nitrate. One unavoidable side effect? Everything that happens to come out the other end is purple, which might be an interesting surprise for the athletes or anyone inspecting their urine. Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe for more weekly science videos.